YouTube, welcome to Higher Math Solutions. This video tutorial is going to go over how to sketch polynomials. There are three things that you need to know. The first thing is your degree. Your degree is your highest exponent. And the reason you need to know your degree is because it tells you your end behavior. If you have an even degree, then your end behavior can either go both sides going up or both sides going down. And the way to tell which one is which is if you end up with a positive leading coefficient, it looks like this where they're both going up towards infinity. If you have a leading negative coefficient, they will both end up going down towards negative infinity. Now, if you have an odd degree, then your end behavior will go opposite directions. It can either go down and then up, or up and then down. And again, the reason, the way to tell is if you have a positive leading coefficient, it will start going down and then go up. But if you have a negative leading coefficient, it will start going up and then go down. The next thing that you need to know are your zeros. These will be your key points, okay? You can either get them by factoring the polynomial, or if it is already factored for you, you can get them by setting each factor equal to zero and solving. After you get your zeros, you are going to check for the third thing, which is the multiplicity. There are three types of multi multiplicity. The first type is if you have a multiplicity of one, then your zero will be going straight through. So if this is your zero on the x-axis, your polynomial will go straight through that point. If you have a multiplicity of two or a higher even multiplicity, like four or six, then if you have a zero, then your polynomial will bounce off of it, making it like a parabola. And a third type a multiplicity is three or in higher odd, three, five, seven, so forth. And if you have a zero, then your polynomial will have like a little wiggle. We could say it's changing concavity. So it will not go straight through the zero, but it will kind of curve through the zero point. So those are the three things that you need to know before you can sketch your polynomial. So let's lead off with an example. Let's look at the polynomial negative x squared x plus 1 to the first and x minus 3 to the third power. So the first thing I'm going to figure out is my degree. Since my polynomial is already factored, to find your degree, I need to add all my powers. So this is a 2, a 1, and a 3, and add added together is a 6. I need to just check to see if it's even or odd. 6 is even, which means my graph will either go up towards positive infinity on both ends or negative infinity on both ends. I now look to see at the front and I see I do have a negative leading coefficient, which means they are both going to go down. The next thing I'm going to find are my zeros. Since this is already factored, I just need to set each factor equal to zero and solve. So the factor of x squared is zero at zero. x plus one is equal to zero at negative one. And x minus three is equal to zero at three. So I have three total zeros. And now I'm going to check its multiplicity. To do that, you look at the power on the factor. So if I'm looking at zero, I see I have a power of two. So it has a multiplicity of two. On the x plus one factor, I have a power of one, so it has a multiplicity of one. And on the x minus three factor, I see I have a power of three, so it has a multiplicity of three. Now I'm going to sketch it for you so you can see what it looks like. Now remember, this is just a sketch, so I'm not going to find any y values. I just want the general look of the graph. 
So I'm going to sketch my zeros first. So I have one at negative one. And I have one at zero. And I have one at three. I also know that my ends are going to both go down. So I kind of just put little arrows there just to make sure that I'm going in the right direction. And then I start. I'm going to start on the left. And as I'm going up to negative one, I saw that it had a multiplicity of one, which means I'm going to go just straight through the zero. At zero, I have a multiplicity of two, which means I have to bounce off. So I'm not going to go through the x-axis. I'm going to bounce back off of it, making it look like a parabola. And then at the three, I have a multiplicity of three. So I'm going to turn back around, but instead of going straight through it, I'm going to change my concavity and then connect it to the end behavior. And that example was done. I'm going to do one more example. Let's look at the example x minus 2, x plus 2 squared, and x minus 4, and x minus 1. Again, this is already in factored form. So I, to find my degree, I'm going to have to add all of my exponents. This has a 1, 2, 1, and 1. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So my degree here is a 5, which is odd. I'm leading with a positive coefficient. So my graph will have end behavior where it starts going down towards negative infinity, but ends up going up towards positive infinity. Next, I'm going to find my zeros. I have a zero at 2, negative 2, 4, and 1. After you find your zeros, I'm going to check my multiplicity. At 2, I have a multiplicity of 1. Negative 2 has a multiplicity of 2. 4 has a multiplicity of 1. And 1 has a multiplicity of 1. And now I'm going to be ready to graph. I always start graphing my zeros first. So negative 2, 2, 4, and 1. And then I put my end behavior up as well, just to make sure I'm going in the right direction. I start on the end. And as I'm going towards negative 2, which is this one, I see it is a multiplicity of 2. So I'm not going to go through the 0. I'm going to bounce back up, off. Now as I'm heading towards 2, I have a multiplicity of 1. So I'm going to go straight through. 1 and 2 and 4 all have multiplicities of 1. So I'm just going to go straight through them. And then I end going towards positive infinity. And then this sketch is done as well. Thank you for watching Higher Math Solutions. See you next time.